So, in the last video, you would have seen me do this. So there's been two videos before this, so if you haven't watched them, I'll leave a link up the top now. But in the first video, I glued and roughly shaped it. In the second video, I properly shaped it, added some nice glow-in-the-dark red and glittery resin. Now in this video, we're going to do pommel, guard and handle. Pommel and guard are going to be out of these beautiful bits of walnut. And then, of course... It wouldn't be a project of mine without adding some lovely padauk, which is going to be the handle. I cannot wait for this. So let's get moving and let's get this pom on guard done. Let's go. Okay, it is time to see whether this worked. I am very excited to see how this turned out. Ah, oh, that is nice and secure. So yes, the handle is too big. I wish I'd probably cut it down a bit. I'm going to need some pins in this. So I'm gonna pin the handle, the, the pommel. Just a small one. I may pin the handle as well, I'm not sure. But I think I definitely need to put some sort of grooves or something on that handle because it is it's far too smooth. So maybe I'll just put a few down. But that feels beautiful.
Oh god, that handle's actually really annoyed me a little bit. That it's too smooth. I've done it too smooth. How do I add things to that now without it looking silly? That's the that's the question now. So now that I've got them roughed in, and that's a hundred times better already, I'm going to take the rounder file and smooth them out, because the V is just too much. Okay, so I've added some grooves, and we're going to see this is any better because it was so slippery before. So slippery. <laughs> They're not perfect. They are in nowhere straight. But they are grippy and that's all that matters. Okay, so sword, pretty much finished. Now it's time for the finish which is what I've been waiting for. So let's get some Rubio on this, shall we? away. I know, I definitely don't want to give this away. Maybe there's only one prize for Maker Central this year. You haven't seen this. Ignore it, this is staying in my collection. As I said, handle, tad too big for a one-handed sword. But it is still wieldy. Wieldy, is that a word? But you can still wield it. I'm so worried I'm going to hit something with it. But I can't stop swinging it around. So we've got purple heart, beach, entropy resin with some glitter and glow in the dark. Some lovely, beautiful shiny walnut, and then gotta have a Paduk handle. Gotta have some Paduk on there somewhere. And oh, the colours on this are just amazing. I am so very happy with how it turned out. It feels so good in the hand. The ridges in the handle, mwah, just what it needed. And even the brass pins, I don't need them, but oh, it just makes everything look so good. Do I have to give it away? Please, seriously, all these good builds. This, the battle axe, the hammer that's on my logo, the giant six foot sword, all really cool builds, which I want to keep, but I've given them away to you guys at the show. And that's the only way to win them, is to come to Make Essential 2024 in May. I've put some links in the description for you if you want to pick up some tickets. 
and then come along to my stand where you can see this, touch it, feel it, stroke it, and have a beautiful picture with it because it is kick ass. All right, I think I'm going to go and have a cry because I don't want to give this away. <laughs> Stop building things for other people that are so cool. You are lucky people for me to make this stuff for you. I'll tell you what, actually before I go, should I make another one, not another one of these, should I make another sword and give it away to the YouTube subscribers? Let's do that. I am currently at 893 subscribers. When I get to a thousand, I'll do a giveaway sword. I reckon just an old school knight's longsword. I may make one for myself, just as practice. There you go, thousand giveaway promised. Again, promising more stuff to give away. This, why do I do this? Farewell. <laughs>